Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy XI How To. In this video we will be discussing Incursion, a high level instance in game battlefield where the primary rewards are unique weapons and armor. Incursion offers a relatively easy way to get 119 gear, job specific capes that can be augmented, and capes that add capacity point bonuses up to 50%. To enter Incursion, one needs the Seekers of Adolin expansion pack, 3 to 18 members, level 95 or above, and the leader must possess a Velk fetish item, which can be obtained by defeating Velk in Marjami Ravine. Incursion is entered via the weathered canvas at I-11 in Marjami Ravine, and once the leader enters, the entire group is teleported in. Much like Delve, you only need access to the zone in order to be teleported in. Incursion starts at level 123 and may be leveled up to level 143. Raising the level of Incursion requires obtaining the key items from the, each of the Velk Notorious Monsters within Incursion. Note that the footage you are currently seeing is not a typical full Incursion run, but it's only a farm party, uh, so we can farm the capacity points uh, plus capes. Incursion may be leveled down to a minimum of 123 by speaking to Frut the Charlatan at I-11 in Marjami Ravine. Incursion takes place within Surgis Caverns and there's a 45 minute time limit in which you need to complete the incursion. Within the incursion there are normal enemy Velk that add buffs to the six Velk Notorious Monsters. The Velk Notorious Monsters drop high quality coffers that can be used to receive rewards whereas the lower, Velk, lower level Velk will drop normal quality coffers and the rewards will be of lower rarity. Once you have obtained the key items from the Notorious Monsters, you will be allowed to use the Rusted Transmitter to warp near to that Notorious Monster. The warp can also be used to warp back to the entrance. If the leader of the Incursion Run has a Notorious Monster key item, the entire group will be allowed to warp to that Notorious Monster even though they may not have that key item. Each Notorious Monster has its own unique behavior, a one hour ability, and two lesser Notorious Monster assistants. Rewards from the coffers range from trash to unique weapons and armor to job job specific equipment known uh, as JSE to the capacity points cape. To augment the GS JSE capes with augments that are relevant to your job you need to obtain a refractive crystal that can be purchased from the auction house and from the Unity Concord NPC using accolades uh, using Unity accolades. The job specific equipment capes are much like the Taeon gear from skirmish where it's a random it's it's a set range and you get random augments within that set range but because there's job specific equipment you will only get random augments that are beneficial to your job so if i tried augmenting a red mage cape i wouldn't get treasure hunter plus i would only get things that pertain to red mage and etc everyone will receive the coffers at once Treasure Hunter affects the drop rate on receiving coffers, and with an increase in difficulty, the number of coffers that drop will also be increased. You can receive a JSC cape that has already been augmented from Incursion, or a non-augmented JSE cape. If you haven't received the JSE cape you want from Incursion or Reeves, you can trade three non-augmented capes to an NPC in Selenium Mortal Library to receive one cape of your choice that's also non-augmented. If you have already received the unique rare item from an incursion NM, um, the coffer will instead give you gil. So for instance, if I already have the Renzi Florette from one of the Notorious Monsters in Incursion, and that drops to me, or that coffer, within that coffer is another Renzi Florette, I will instead get gil from that coffer because I already have what that, that unique rare item that the coffer from that notorious monster drops. To receive the items from coffers, you need to use the coffers like a consumable item such as ammunition, quivers, or food. You just select it from your, your inventory and use it on yourself. That's it for this video, due to Incursion being fairly straightforward. Thank you so much for watching. Check the links in the description for links to Incursion information. Like the video if it has helped you or you enjoyed it. Comment so we can hang out in the comment section or ask me any Final Fantasy XI related questions and do me a favor and subscribe to my channel because that that does two things it tells me that people like what I'm doing and um, if you subscribe you'll be notified when I upload a new Final Fantasy XI how-to video immediately 
Um, as always, I'm Silver Sean from the Asura server. If you're on Asura, feel free to throw me a tell or ask me any questions. I also stream Final Fantasy XI. The link to my Twitch channel is in the description. My streams are pretty chill. Uh, they're Q&A, meaning you can just sort of watch me play Final Fantasy XI and ask me questions about Final Fantasy XI. I can give you answers immediately instead of being burdened by uh, tell or party when I'm busy and I can't... Um, I can't type and do like incursion runs, for example, at the same time. Whereas if I was streaming and you came in and answer or asked me questions in the chat, I can be playing Final Fantasy XI and doing an incursion run, for example, again, and vocally tell you the answer. It's just easier. I found that I can answer a lot of questions that way. So check it out. Thank you guys again for watching and supporting me, and I will see you guys in the next video.